Hello everyone! Welcome people to another educational video from the LearnPersian.us team. I'm going to describe for you the scene you are going to watch in short time. In this video, a man called Abbas and his younger friend Hassan have just been released from prison and go to an old neighborhood to ask one of their friends for somewhere to stay. Their friend has found an old bathhouse for them. Since they don't have much money to rent somewhere better, so he's going to take them there to show them the place. نبودی؟ حسن حالا کجا بودی؟ مرسیه گرفته بودیم رفتیم جا پور لغره بودا دیگه ما هم بیماردیم برد حسابی عبدالله جون شما سنگینی هواپیما چپ میکنه باست ما خطا شما رو ببرم با این کشتی های خواره پیما هم میتونه سنگینی سلام آقا عبدالله حالا یه جوری میرفتیم سلام نقره خانم این هم همونو که بهت میگفتم اومدم بریم مرد 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 اصلا یکم زود نی؟ خانم این از دستتون افتاد ممنون خواهش میکنم آخه چه نازه واسه خودتونه؟ بله قابل شما نده سلام آقا عبدالله سلام تلا خانم سلام خانم برادت اول شما دانشجوهای موسیقی هم بله خودم اینجا رو بسو نزده کردم زنده باشده شد اجام کچه بیازاره با برکتی هم ارزم بزده تو بله شما راضی هستی نه اینجا نیستی بپرس آدم از درم سایه Number one. Salam alaikum. Literal meaning. Hello to you. It's an Arabic phrase sometimes used by Iranian people in their everyday conversations. They use it as a response to someone when they first say hello. <laughs> Number two, Pesar Khale or cousin. In Persian, we have separate words for each of the aunts or uncle's children. Exciting, right? First of all, let's review the words we use for aunts and uncles. So you should know the sister of your mother is called Khale. The sister of your father is called Amme. The brother of your mother is called Dai. And the brother of your father is called Amu. So, as you might have guessed, the word Pesar Khale translates to the son of the Khale. But in this scene, the men are not real cousins. Some people, especially the older ones or those who live in smaller cities, call each other by words such as Pesar Khale or Pesar Amu and so on. That some have considered a way of feeling closer to each other and having a friendly relationship. <laughs> Number three, sangini. Sangini equals to sangin hasti and means you are heavy. In conversations, usually the verb hasti is contracted to ye to speak faster. So the word heavy is an adjective and means sangin. Next one, chap mikone. Chap mikone, it turns over, it rolls over, or even it gets upside down. Here, Abbas is fooling his friend. 
He has been in the prison, but tells his friend that he's been to Japan. So when he asks, why haven't they taken him to Japan as well? He answers that because you are overweight and we can take you anywhere by plane since it might roll over because of your weight. That's super funny. Obviously, he's not true, but the other man believes him. Next one, Qatar. This word is a noun and means train. Abbas continues fooling the man by telling him that you can only transport by train. And since it's impossible to travel to Japan from Iran by train, so they couldn't have taken him with them. Nice trick. Number six. Qarepeyma. It's an adjective and translates to intercontinental. The word qare means continent. Number seven. Yejuri means somehow. Here, the man who is overweight believes what Abbas says about the conditions of the travel and says, Maybe we could somehow go together. Maybe we could find a way if you have informed me. Number eight. Hamum. Or better to say, Hamum. This word is a noun and translates to bathroom. The main pronunciation is Hamum. But it might change to Hamum in conversational speech. However, he is taking the two men to an old bathhouse so that they can stay in there. Next one is matruke. Matruke is an adjective and means abandoned or deserted. As you see in the scene, the building is old and no one has used it for a long time. The next word is who or ho. This is an impolite and conversational way of addressing someone or grabbing someone's attention when you want to tell them something. We can consider it the Persian equivalent of the word hey, but in an informal an impolite way. The next one, Zudni, or better to say, Zudnist. This is a question and means, isn't it soon? As you see, the word Nisten here contracted to the word Ni. It sometimes happens in daily conversations. Here, Abbas thinks that his young friend Hassan is trying to disturb the girls or wants to make friends with them. So he's trying to prevent them from doing. So since they've just seen the neighborhood and they're new in there and don't know what could happen. <laughs> the literal meaning is, I request, but it means you're welcome. It's a polite way of answering someone when they say, Thank you. The next one is This one is a question, meaning does it belong to you? Here the girl likes the turtle and asks the boy whether he's the owner of it or not. Oh my god, this is a very common phrase used in conversations which means something like it's a mere nothing. There is no exact equivalent for this phrase in English since it's a matter of cultural differences. But Iranians say it when they want to respect someone and reply politely when they show their interest in something new the other person has bought or something interesting he or she owns. We can nearly translate it to 
You're much more valuable to me than this and you can have it for yourself if you want. And people use it a lot. Trust me. However, the other person knows that the speaker is not saying that seriously and just wants to show respect and politeness. So no one accepts such an offer. Salam, Abdullah. Salam, Salam, Khanum. Salam, Khanum, Radat. The next one, Danishju. Danishju is a noun and means university student. In Persian, we use the word Danishju only for those who study in university. So, for example, for teenagers at high school, we say the word Danish Amuz, which translates to student. And the last one, Ejare Kardam. Ejare Kardam is a verb and it means I rented. The main form of the verb is Ejare Kardam, which means to rent. Thank you guys so much for devoting your precious time to us. Do not forget if you have any further questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them all. Please write them down in the comments part and we'll be here assisting you. Also, our team would be more than happy to see you guys coming to our website for free educational content. We would like to help people all around the world to learn Farsi and Persian better. And do not forget, click on that subscribe button to be a part of our channel and turn on your notification icon to get informed about future posts. 